morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is 6.50 a.m. Sienna is up and at them. And ready for school day. Are you ready for this Monday? Katie's in the shower. He's going to take her to school. I just submitted my Kroger click list order for today. I'm going to go pick it up this time. I need to be there between 1 and 2. So I'm going to get a Kroger click list. And then I'm going to pick Sienna up. And then I'm going to come back. Unload my car. Put all the groceries away. And my nice clean fridge, which I'm so excited for. Because it's been a while since I took everything out and like wiped it all down, cleaned it all out. So I'm excited to fill my fruit and my veg trays back up. Little fruit, little veg, right? Right. All right, we are going to watch a couple people on YouTube. Um, I have kind of like a morning routine. I watch people on YouTube, I drink a cup of coffee, and then I get the day started. My plan for today, it's an at-home day. Um, all we have to do is go pick up groceries and go pick Sienna up. She has violin, which my mom may or may not take her. So we might have to take her to violin. I don't know. We'll see. But I think we're just going to work around the house. I have two baskets of clean laundry that need to be folded and put away. So we'll work on that. Hopefully Hoarders is on at some point today because I got sucked into it yesterday. It was a really good episode. Um, the lady had like a rat infestation. It was really good. Really good. Uh, and then... I think that's it. I just have laundry, general tidying, just another day. All right, I'll check in with you guys soon. Hi everyone, it has been a while. I think I left off around 6.30 this morning, but I can't remember. I might've been before that. Anyway, I ordered a click list order. I'm picking that up. I need to leave in about 30 minutes. Go pick that order up, then go up to my daughter's school, drop off my field day form that I created this morning to the secretary so she can have them printed and then we get volunteers to help me on that day and then we're going to pick Sienna up take her here she's got to practice violin do her homework go to violin i need to make dinner and i have a whole lot of laundry that needs to be hung up and stuff but i think what my plan is is when we get home from school while she's doing her homework and everything i'm going to put all the groceries away and then go upstairs and get that done because that's like the only task really pressing on my to-do list is get the laundry put away because I'm on my last load in the entire house. So fingers crossed we get that done, scratch it off. This is, week is going to be somewhat busy uh, with various things during the day. So I want to make sure that my house is somewhat put together on this Monday. But I wanted to update you before it got too late. I'm here. I'm showered. My hair looks like this. Let's go, Blue. You have to stay. You have to hold down the fort. But don't hold down the fort like you did last time because last time, do you remember what happened, bud? Remember what happened? Remember what happened? You got in the garbage and you got it everywhere? Okay. I know you want to go, but you have to stay because you bark at the Kroger people. Ready? We are now in the parking lot waiting for Sienna to get her to school. I do need to get her inside, but Jet won't put his jacket on, so... That's an issue. Were you gonna get in the car behind us? <laughs> he didn't stop me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but then I probably would have looked back and saw your license plate, and then I would have uh, thought, oh, wait. Oh, wrong car. You remember when you did that in preschool? Yeah. Okay. Louie's not with us because we have groceries. We are back at home, sorry for the background noise, but this is all of the groceries that I got today. So I thought I would just quickly go through it. Some of the stuff has been opened because I got home 
And for example, I was thirsty and wanted to crystallate my water. Also got into the barbecue chips down there. But we'll start on this side. I got two things, a crystal light, some Frisky's cat food, a wild basil and lime hand soap for my kitchen, some grapes, two bananas, some plums, some strawberries, a thing of medium salsa, some Atkins Indulged chocolate peanut candy, and these Atkins peanut caramel cluster bars that I got from Kathy's, I believe it's Kathy's Beauty Chats. I'm not really sure, but she eats them and they're really good. Uh, some turkey breasts, some Swiss cheese, some Lunchables, some cherry mixed fruit, some Little Bites chocolate chip muffins, some chocolate vanilla swirl, 60 calorie sugar free pudding snacks, some applesauce, the SpongeBob SquarePants fruit snacks, two things of the High C Orange Lava Burst juice boxes. Some taco dinner kits. I got two things of chicken and one thing of ground beef. In here, a thing of apples, some marinara sauce, a thing of black beans, the 1% low fat chocolate milk and 2% reduced fat regular milk. Two things of macaroni and cheese, some Hussman's barbecue chips, two of these, uh, Vegetable pasta rotini. Routine is it rotini? Rotini. Rotini Alfredo. Rotini. Rotini Alfredo. You get the drift. Two of those. A thing of gain laundry detergent. A thing of gain fireworks in the scent moonlight breeze. This smells so good. I also got two of these Swiffer wet jets. I actually open this up at the top and dump it into my Bissell. I find that I don't know, it cleans my floors really well and I like the scent. I got a thing of Eggo pancakes, two of these chocolate chip waffles, two more of the, I didn't know I got four of them, two more of the high C lava bursts. Those are definitely our favorites in this house. Um, I did end up getting some decaf. So Marsha, thank you for that comment. I got decaf coffee so we're going to try that if I drink coffee, you know, after 3 p.m. I also got some of my favorite medium roast donut shop blend coffee. Another thing of chocolate chip muffins. I'll put those over here. A thing of glazed donuts. A thing of fruit punch. Some of these fettuccine alfredos and cheeseburger max along with a Red Baron pizza. Some salad, some pre-made cob salads, some apple juice, and a thing of water. A little update, Sienna just left for my mom. It's 4 8. She took her to violin lessons that runs from 4 to 4 30. But right now I'm gonna get dinner started. I'm gonna brown this chicken in this pan and then I'm gonna put it in a casserole dish, the marinara, the chicken, some more marinara topped with cheese, and possibly a little bit of croutons if we have any. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. 350 degrees for 35 to 45. No. 30 to 35 minutes. There we go. I'm having a hard time talking today. Must be a Monday. All right, now that that is browned, I also put some garlic salt and some basil. Sprinkle that on top. I'm gonna put this in here, then I'm gonna top it with the cheese and the croutons. We are now waiting for Santa to be done with violin. And I think we'll just eat and hang out. She already did her homework, already practiced violin, so there isn't really much else to do. Cody is in the garage helping to straighten it up some more because at the end of the day yesterday, before we left to get a family dinner, they kind of just put everything in there and left it, but he's further organizing and doing things. But I thought I would update you. All right, let's wait for Sienna to get home. She's great. She's, she's doing unbelievable.
another nice little update for you. It is 614. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. I have a little bit more laundry to hang up upstairs. I think, or did I do it all? I think I just have to put Cody's stuff away, which are kind of like made into a big pile. Uh, my dad just now stopped by. So I'm gonna go hang out in the garage with them while I look, I look crazy. I look like Snoop Dogg before. That's why I took my braids out. Uh, but now we're here. I hope you all are taking care. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. It is now 8 p.m. and I, did I ever tell you guys the story about my nail? I snapped it in half like a week after I got them done and it hurts really bad and I keep re-snapping it in half and then I keep gluing it shut and I'm scared to go get them redone because of where it snapped. It's like above where my fingernail like bed is. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I would like to get these off and get them a little bit more pointier and a little bit longer and a different color because these were my Easter nails. Or I'm just gonna take them off and not ever do this again but apparently these are the s and s nails i don't know anything about them but from word on the street they are healthier and easier to come off of your nail so i'm hoping that's the case but i just don't want to see underneath this nail because it will totally gross me out um, every time i like crack it it like makes me want to vomit all right everyone i'm gonna go ahead and end it right there i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys Nice bright and early tomorrow morning. We're going to the pet store. Should be fun.